Andrea, crews from Disney have been out here all day filming at this location, Southgate Shopping Center, with Brian Cranston, one of the film's biggest stars, shooting a couple of scenes here this afternoon. But not too far from this location is another one of Disney locations um, owned by a registered sex offender. And one Lakeland father that we spoke with today says this was a bad move on Disney's part. Oh my God, we're just having a blast out here. There's no doubt about it. Lakeland is thrilled to have Hollywood in its backyard. It's exciting, exciting. What's less than exciting is this. A home used in the Disney film said to be lead actor Brian Cranston's home in the movie in reality is owned by a registered sex offender. Gary Davis was charged with lewd and lascivious behavior on a minor in 1991. It's just nuts for a multi-billion dollar corporation. Dustin Finn, a father, says Disney dropped the ball. Being Disney, being a Disney movie and Disney being geared more towards children, that using a house that's owned by a registered sex offender is kind of crazy. Finn says it's unfortunate when there's also children used as actors and extras in the movie. To put, I mean, how many children are in this film? To put them in that vicinity with that sex offender. You have to think about that. Yes, I know they paid for their crimes and they did what they need to do, but what's, you know, what's the rate of people going back to that? Now, Fox 13 also reached out to Disney for comment. They have not returned our inquiry at this time, but we did speak with a relative of Mr. Davis's today. Uh, she said that she didn't want to provide a comment, but that she would like the focus of this to be on the house and not the owner.